Now we'll talk about a Bohr's atom model. Neil Bohr's in 1913 modified Rutherford's atom model and he suggested the stability of atom and the emission of sharp spectral lines. An electron cannot revolve around the nucleus in all possible orbits. So, according to Bohr's atom model, the electrons can revolve around the nucleus only in those allowed or permissible orbits for which the angular momentum of the electron is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi where h is a Planck's constant which is equivalent to 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joules. These orbits are called a stationary orbits or, or no radiating orbits. And an electron revolving in this orbit does not radiate any energy. If m and v are the mass and velocity of the electron in a permittable orbit of radius r, then angular momentum of electron is equal to m into v into r is equal to n into h into 2 pi where n is called the principal quantum number and has the integral values of 1, 2, 3, etc. And this is called a Bose quantization condition. You are able to see n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3. So, moving from one orbit to another orbit, it will emit energy. You are able to see the condition here. From moving from one orbit to another orbit, it's able to emit energy to from top bottom to top from inner to outer it will receive energy to move from outside so this is how your electron is moving from one orbit to another orbit so this is nothing but your electron orbits and this is your nucleus and these are all nothing but your electrons So the energy will get reduced based on the orbit. So an atom radiates energy when an electron jumps from a stationary orbit of higher energy to an orbit of lower energy. If the electron jumps from an orbit of energy E2 to an orbit of E1, a photon of energy H nu is equal to E2 minus E1 is emitter. This condition is called a Bohr's frequency condition. And here the H value is nothing but your Planck's constant and V is the velocity of an electron.